Hey all you detectorists out there and YouTube. Uh, today is uh, Thanksgiving, November 24th, and uh, I thought I'd get out for a couple hours before uh, before we have to go do our Thanksgiving meal at my brother's house. And I'm just hunting this old sledding hill here. It was an old toboggan run back in the 40s, 50s. And uh, just right over in this little depression right here, I just uh, pulled up a uh, 1950 Washington. I didn't get it on film. It was so wet and kind of soggy in there. But as you can see, it's a 1950. That makes my uh, 194th silver of the year. I'm happy with that. Hoping to get a few uh, closer to 200 today. I don't know how many good days we've got left in the year. But uh, that's one down. And then uh, I came over here and uh, got another nice high tone. It wasn't quite as deep, but pretty big uh, sterling room it looks like. It's a honker. So uh, I haven't checked yet to see if there's a mark in it, but it certainly looks like silver to me. Um, so it's not a silver coin, but uh, it's a pretty good chunk of silver. And uh, I think it makes, I don't know, 15 or 16 silver uh, rings I've gotten this year so far. So pretty happy with that. So let's keep moving down. Uh, Sorry about that, I shut the camera off. I always hit the wrong switch, but I'm gonna keep moving down this hill here. Let's see if there's anything at the bottom. If I find anything else, I'll uh, get back with you. Hey fellas, as you can see, I just got myself 27 Merc. Kind of at the bottom of the hill down here. It flattens out, and uh, so you've got Frisbee golfers, people walking dogs. I didn't film the dig or right after the dig because uh, the dog was uh, scooting around me being friendly so uh, so anyway makes uh, 195 so let's keep her going folks I'm back over uh, where I found those Indians last week and it was right up in there so I figured I'd come back here at that other spot there was getting it was getting a lot of traffic from uh, frisbee golfers and such so Moved out of there. This is an old part of the park, and uh, must have been a picnic ground before it was a park because it wasn't uh, made into a county park until the 30s, 40s era. So just poking along here, got kind of a real iffy signal. Um, it was kind of hitting down in the penny range, but it, when I would pinpoint, it would pinpoint it like dime range. So cut my plug and flipped it over and that's just how it lay right in the end of my shovel. So uh, I came up with the shovel. I haven't even touched it yet. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Canadian. Canadian dime. Awesome. Really looks like it's pretty decent shape too. 1921 Canadian. So uh, awesome. Well, let's uh, move along here and see what else we can find. That makes uh, 196 for the year. Just dug a 1926 uh, wheat penny. guys it's the next day it's uh 25th of november and i'm out uh back at the uh, same park just a different part of the park um it's uh early morning i got things i gotta do this do today so try to get out early and find a few silvers if i can and uh I just dug a pocket spill clad over over there somewhere and over here and got first good deep tone and see I got 
silver down in the hole there. Um, don't know what it is yet. Let's see what we got. And looks like a mercury.42 something like that so that's a good way to start things out makes 197 for the year it'd be nice to be able to hit the 200 mark today the little time I have so don't want to waste any time we gotta get back at it and see if we can get it cool so let's see what else we can find well hell fa hey fellas it's uh, December 3rd today. I haven't been able to get out much, if at all, for the last week. I've been very busy. It's been cold, and the days are very short now. So, uh, in my quest for 200 coins, I came to a little park here along the river and uh, just got my first silver. So this makes 198. And it uh, looks like it's a barber. Let's take a look at what it is. The back, one dime. It's, yeah. It's Barber. It's like a 1908. So that's sweet. If you're going to get silver, Barber's a good one to get. It was down there, a lot of roots I had cut through, but I had a good uh, 45, 46 on E-Track. And uh, I said he'd dig through a lot of intertangled roots. There's this tree right here, sending out a lot of roots. So it makes 198 for the year. And uh, hopefully we'll get a couple more Barbers or some oldies uh, to finish out the year. This may be the last uh, hurrah for 2011. It's been a good year, so let's see if we can get a couple more. Well, fellas, it's only 15, 20 minutes after I got that barber right over by that tree. And came over here, and I just got number 199. It was uh, There was some trash close to it, so I had to kind of walk around and kind of you know, get right down to exactly where it was, and it was uh, bouncing from trash to uh, 47, and I got a Washington. Fifty-three. So that makes uh, one ninety-nine. One more to go. Two hundred. It's uh, pretty early. So uh, hopefully I get number two hundred today, and I can be satisfied for the year. So uh, let's keep it going and see what else we can find. Well, it's literally like three minutes after I got that quarter, right there, and I walked around here and. Got kind of a funny signal. It was there might be something else in the hole. Cause it was hitting down in like the Indian range, so I uh, thought, well, yeah, there could be Indians in here. So, uh, so I cut the plug, and as soon as I stuck my probe in there, tone went high, and I'm like, oh, and uh, dug down through a few roots there, and I got silver right here. Don't know what it is yet. It's a mercury dime. It's 36 merc. And if I'm not mistaken, the first merc that I dug this year on New Year's Day was a 36. So uh, that is awesome. There's number 200 right there, folks. I'm very, very happy to have that, <laughs> especially early as it is. So, uh, I'm going to stop here and have a little party. Okay, that's enough. Uh, and uh, let's keep going and see if we can find something else. Sweet.